What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness here at the original Metroflex gym, Arlington, Texas, getting my cardio on. Now, if you've known me for any length of time, you'd realize that cardio is a dirty word in my book. I have hated cardio for decades, especially when I was getting ready for competitions back in the day. But here lately, I've realized that cardio is a pretty good old thing for the old body. The older you get, the more your ticker needs it. So if you can't get on that Stairmaster bike and treadmill now, you better start thinking about it because the benefits are amazing. I also like to wear one of those old sweat wrap belts around my stomach when I'm doing my cardio. And I like to do cardio 30 minutes to set a workout session, five to six to even seven days a week. Now, a lot of people are asking me what I do for my abs, and here you go. Get that cardio in use an ab wrap and i always use this rollout technique i've been doing this for probably 15 to 20 years now on and off and a whole lot more recently i get down on my knees i'll grab a rollout or one of those little uh, rollers that you can grab a hold of a handle on each side and i'll knock out two to three sets of 20, 10 to 20 reps and i'll go all the way out not like a lot of these bodybuilders that you see doing but i'll go all the way out to where my doggone stomach, chest, chin, nose, and hat be able to touch the ground. Get out there, pause just for a second, don't lay on the ground, but touch the ground, and then utilize those abdominal muscles to pull yourself up. Of course, you're going to use a little bit of the chest, and the triceps, and the shoulders, and the quads, but the abs are getting trained as well. Here's another reason why I have visible abs. I never wear a belt when I train heavy. The only time I wear a belt is when I squat 405 or more. Just not necessary for me. I squat, I leg press, I bench press, I shoulder press, I use the dumbbells, I do shrugs, everything extremely heavy without a belt. For the very reason that I cannot necessarily engage a good core activation while I'm wearing that doggone belt, it's actually restricting me. Now, there's a whole lot of gurus out there uh, and a lot of fitness trainers and a lot of people that know what they're talking about that'll tell you to grab a belt and put it on. I just don't believe in using one. I never have. I probably never will unless I get too old to even pick up a 35-pound plate off the ground without injuring myself. So that's where it is. I do a little bit of cardio, wear an ab wrap, I do some rollouts, and I don't wear a belt when I train. I'm not saying you should not wear a belt. I'm just saying if you're going to start not wearing a belt be very careful activate that core keep everything tight and i guarantee you you'll start to see a little bit of difference and here's the other circuit that i'll throw in there anywhere from two to three days a week i'll start out seated bringing the knees to the chest go to the back bringing the chin forward instead of rolling the head over you don't want to use your upper body to crunch with you want to use those abs to contract the body and then going on either side bringing the elbows straight to the ceiling as much as possible i do this for two to four sets for 25 to 50 reps hope you guys enjoyed these clips until next time 10 city rules train hardcore and we'll see you next video